Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a picture lookup. This is what we are going to create. If I change the course name, it changes the course logo. And down here, if I change the scores, at the moment I've got a smiley face, but if they were all ones, I would get a sad face. Okay, so how do we achieve this? Let's deal with the course logo to begin with. I've got a sheet called images here and on this sheet I have all the course names in my drop down list plus all the logos and some other information about the courses. Let's concentrate on the logo column. I want you to notice that these images all fit nicely within their corresponding cells. They don't overlap the boundaries of the cells at all. That's really important. The other thing you want to be able to do is align and distribute the images properly. And there are various tools for that. Let me just muck up the alignment a little bit. First thing you would do is select all the images and I'm holding down shift to select them all. Go up to the picture format tab on your ribbon and go to the alignment menu here and align center. To distribute them, how I managed to do that is to make sure the first image is nicely kind of vertically centered within the cell as much as you can. And then also make sure that is true of the last image. Then select all the images and go to alignment, distribute vertically. I will also need to align them to the center again. Okay, so these are all nicely aligned within the cells. That's really important so that they don't appear as though they jump around when you change the course name. The next step is to copy one of the cells that contains one of those logos. It doesn't matter which cell it is, but you're not selecting the image, you're selecting the cell that contains the image. Then you go to copy, go back to your course detail sheet and I'll get rid of the existing image and paste the image in as a linked picture. Here is your linked picture. Now I want to get rid of that border around the image. I can do that by selecting it, going up to picture format and go to the crop tool and then you can just play around with the crop. Okay, I've got rid of that border. I'm going to place the image where I want it to appear. You'll notice in the formula bar that this picture refers to images B2, which is where I copied it from. Let me just show you how this works. If I go back to images, and I'm going to take out the Excel image and put the Visio image in its place. Now, if I go back to the sheet, you can see it's now picking up the Visio image. Let's go back here and just undo what I've done there. So it's essentially picking up whatever is in that image. Now, we don't want it to do that ultimately. We want it to pick out the image that corresponds to the course name we select here. Now, the way we can achieve this is by using the index function. Now, the index function will find the position, the row position of our course name in this column and pick up the corresponding logo in the logo column. Let's go back to our completed sheet. I'm going to write my index function down here, but it doesn't really matter which cell you type it in. The first argument is array. So that's the range of cells that contain all possible results you want to return. We want to return all possible logos, and they are on the images sheet in the range B2 to B8. Now, all the cell references in this formula must be fixed, and you can do that by selecting the range that you've just specified and pressing F4 on your keyboard. That'll put the dollars in, comma. The second argument is row number. We want to calculate the row number of whatever course name is selected here within our images sheet. And we can use the match function to do that. Match returns the position of a value within a range you specify. Our lookup value is our course name, and I need to fix that, comma, and our lookup array is on the images sheet, A2 to A8, and I need to fix that, comma. Our match type in this instance is exact match. We want to return an exact match for the course name. So that's zero there, 
And then I need a close bracket for match and a close bracket for index. At the moment, this returns zero because there's nothing in the cell for Microsoft Publisher. If I was to type something in there, like let's put a five in, it would then return that five. I don't actually want that in the cell, so I'll delete it. I want the index function to return the logo image rather than the value that has been entered into the cell. Now you'd think that what you could do is just copy and paste this formula into the current reference that the image is using. And that unfortunately doesn't work, but there is a workaround for it. What you do is you create a named reference for this formula, and then you can use that name up here. You can say equal or whatever name you've created. So how do I create a named reference for this formula? Well, I copy this formula. I've done that by copying the text of the formula in the formula bar. Then I go up to the formulas tab on my ribbon and I go to name manager and then I click new. I'm going to create a name for my formula. I'll call it logo. You cannot have spaces in a name. So if you're going to use two words, separate them with an underscore. Then down in the refers to box, I'm going to paste in my formula. I'll click on OK. You can see now I have this new name and it refers to the formula that we've just created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my logo and in the formula bar, I'm going to say equals logo. And you can see that logo appears in the IntelliSense list. So I'll double click on it and I'll press enter. Now, when I select a course name, it returns the correct logo in this cell. Okay, let's now talk about how to do this picture lookup for the course feedback. It's actually based on the average score in this list here. I'll delete this image and let's have a reminder of how we paste the image in. What you've got to do is select the cell, not the image. I select this cell and it doesn't matter which cell or which image I'm working on. And I copy the cell. I go back to the sheet that I want the logo to appear in. And then I paste linked picture. I then have to get rid of the borders. So I go to picture format on my ribbon, go to the crop tool and I can crop the image just to get rid of that border. And then I can place the image wherever I want it to appear. Might make this one just a little bit smaller. So it fits in that row nicely. Now let's just go back to the assessment sheet and discuss these score thresholds here. I get a sad face if the average score is between 0 and 3.4. So it's always one less than the next threshold. I get an okay face if the score is between 3.5 and 4.9, kind of one less than the next threshold. And then I get a happy face if the score is between five and 7.9, and then all loved up face if the score is eight and over. I'm not doing an exact match here as we were doing with our course names. What I'm doing is I'm looking for a value within a range of values. That's the difference with this particular lookup. I'm gonna to have to write an index function to get this to work, just like we did with the previous example. And again, it doesn't matter which cell you write that into on your completed sheet. Array is the range of values that you want to return, all possible values. And in our case, that's all possible faces. And they're gonna be on the assessment sheet, B2 to B5. I'll move my little screen tip up here so you can see what's going on. Our array needs to be fixed press F4 on my keyboard. Then the next argument is row number. Which row number is the correct icon in? That'll be based on a lookup, and I can use match function here, a lookup of the position of the score threshold. Now, before I can get the correct score threshold, I need to work out an average of the scores on the completed sheet. And I can use average to get that value. And my lookup is the average of these scores. And I need to fix that reference, close the bracket, comma. Now the next argument is lookup array. So where am I looking up the average of those scores? Well, that's back on the assessment sheet in this range here. Let's fix that, comma. And then the last argument is match type. Now, for some reason, the match types are right down here on my sheet, but you can see it's one, zero, or minus one. Now on the previous example, 
we used exact match, which was zero. One is what we want in this example, so I double click on it. And we use one where we're looking for values within a range of values, and those values are expressed in ascending order, which is what we've got here. Minus one, you'd use where the values are in descending order. I know there is another function called xmatch that's come out in the more recent versions of Excel, but I'm gonna use match so that we include everyone with older versions of Excel. Now I just need to close the bracket once and then twice, press enter, and I have my formula. Now I can use this formula to look up the correct smiley face in the completed sheet. But if you remember, I can't paste the formula directly into the formula bar. I have to create a named reference to the formula. To do that, I copy my formula onto my clipboard. Then I go up to formulas, name manager, and I create a new name. I'm going to call this name feedback. And I paste my formula into the refers to box. Click on OK. And you can see now I've got my feedback name and my logo name. Click on close. Click on this image. Delete the current reference here and type in feedback. Press enter. Now I'm getting a sad face because I've got very low scores. But if I put in all tens, I'd get a loved up face. If I put in all fives, I'd get a smiley face. If I put in all fours, I'd get an okay face. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Thanks very much for listening. Hopefully you found it useful. Please subscribe if you have, and I'll see you next video.